The show features adults using adult language and discussing mature topics. You have been warned. You've been live this whole time since the magic conversation. Hmm? No, actually, we just switched. <laughs> but that was a good time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. Hey, everybody. End of Hi. the microwave in the background. Um, Sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. I get it. Um, we, uh, we're back with Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Uh, woo. Whoop, whoop. I'm ready to a lot, die. A lot has changed. Uh, oh, hello. Hello, chat. And, um, but not a lot has changed in the game. We kind of paused at a very tense moment. And I apologize for the long hiatus. But um, I won't have anybody roll because it's, a lot has happened. Holidays and all that. Uh, the group is in Sunblight's Fortress down at the, the spine of the world. Uh, just south of Icewind Dale, and they're trying to stop the Drugar from trying to uh, do their shenanigans. I believe you're after the the leader himself, if I recall, um, Mr. Sunblight himself, uh, Zardorok Sunblight. Wait, and, Zardorok's uh, on the field now? Hmm? No, no, no Zardor- we're after him. Yeah. You guys are trying to find him. Yeah. Oh, we're trying to find um, him. He isn't active yet. Sorry, I just when you, when they, I just put my headset back on. Oh, you're fine. Uh, and then, but when they got there, there was this mecha dragon, probably the best way I could describe it, um, that appeared coming out of a opening at the side of the mountain, and it flew off towards Icewind Dale. The group had a tough decision to make: do they go after the dragon, or do they go after the Drugar as they had originally? Uh, they Instead, decided to say, screw the rules, I have money, and Periwinkle used her Sending Stone to call up her 20th level father, former adventurer, and his friend, Roch, who's a bard, and um, they and told them of the situation, and those two are going off to fly off after the dragon, while the group here goes to the dungeons below. Uh, they found a few skirmishes here and there, Group was doing pretty good for the most part. Met a neutral party that was some Rugar lady, that's some like nobleman from the Underdark. Um, that she didn't seem to care one way or another. She wasn't helping or assisting. Um, but everything went south when everybody got into the forge. The entire place went on high alert. Many towers, Rugar in them, throwing javelins down it. Rugar in these weird pain machine pain machines coming at him. They're like in this weird full plate where one hand's a hammer and the other hand's like a sword. And they got like this weird hook in the middle of their forehead that's like embedded into them as they seem to be embedded into it like it's a tomb. Walking tomb. Um, you Quogoths, which kind of look like um, Beastman from X-Men, but quite a bit more feral. And... Um, what else? I think that's I think that's all everything. So this big chaotic mess is happening. Um and there's a big fight going on. And as things were starting to get to their worst, Andrew comes out of Periwinkle's backpack and conjures up a dragon. And this huge dragon breathes fire on quite a few Drugar, killing them, but not leaving any fortune. And uh Andrew the last in the initiative. We're keeping that initiative from last session so long ago. Um, so, Liliana, let me fill you in on uh, what all you see. So the bots, there's only one left. Um, and it looks very scared of this dragon. Um, that one tower that the dragon breathes fire into, one Drugar died, the other two aren't looking so good, and they're terrified of the thing. Um, from a quick glance, I might as well just say everybody on the enemy side, almost everybody on the enemy side, looks frightened of the thing. Um, so what do you... Do you All right. Do? Well, I think I was close to the Quagoths yes. to fight them. Yes, there's one left. All right, well... It's been totally working this far. So 
Liliana will go up to the Quagoth and stab it. Okay. Uh, that'll be a 18 to hit. Miss? No. I was actually hoping you were going to say something really high. Miss? Yeah. Seven? Miss? Yeah. I just you, you just get the middle finger from me if you did that, Scotty. You know this. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to roll my damage. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen points of damage. Okay. Um, you stab it, and it feels like it was about to go limp for a moment. And when it gets back up, and it looks really mad. At you. Well, that sucks for it because I'm going to uh, I'm going to be a pain in the ass and back away from it. It doesn't get an attack of mm-hmm. opportunity because I'm. Uh, I'm stepping away from it. I have fancy footwork. Uh, and then I'm going to take the hide action. Okay, roll me a stealth. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Uh, that'll... Hmm? That'll be a dirty 20. Like to hide from something that's looking at you? Do you go like, hey, look behind you and then hide? Oh, I'll, I mean, I'll leave it up to you, the creative devices. This room's enough of a clusterfuck now. Where do mm-hmm. you hide? Probably up against one of the pillars. Uh, I thought you were or something? Be like, uh, under a pile of dead bodies. There's a <laughs> lot of dead bodies around. Yeah, there is, but no. I'm just going to go behind the, behind the pillar. Okay. I will state that or less. you know that the Skulgoth actually cannot get closer to you because it's frightened of the dragon. It can't move <laughs> closer to the dragon. <laughs> get fucked, And that's my turn. Uh, all right. Then after you, it is Volg's turn. The so Volg, I believe you were on the, the steps going up to up on one of the towers. Two Drugar up there were enlarged. Um, they look distracted oh, yeah. by a dragon that breathes fire around you, but not in your tower. It breathes fire into the okay. tower next to you. So it was between two towers, right? Um, there's like a step. There's like steps that go up to tower that's twenty feet up from the ground, and you were like, yeah. you were like halfway up those stairs. Okay, but right, like behind me, there's another set of stairs with another tower. Yes. Actually, let me okay. double check. And uh, sure. yes, yes. Okay, that's that's what I thought. I'm like in yeah. Um, the, the map's still pinned in Discord. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm opening it. Yeah, I'm on X24 on the top part of X24. Between those on the stairs on the. Yeah, you're you're a left. little more to the left. Okay, um, and the guys in the tower enlarged. Mm-hmm. And I'm not, I'm not on ours, right? No, I, I, think don't, so. I don't think so. It might have been at one point, but I don't think for this battle. Okay. And the, the sorry, but the dragon, the tower, the dragon fire team, which one it is? Uh, they, bre- they breathe fire into the one to the right. You're heading to the one in the left. The one behind me, okay. So, yeah, I'll go into the other tower, not the one I'm actually going in, because, like, those two guys got big, and I'm half way to the other side. So, yeah, I'll rush into the other ones that are messed up, and if I can reach one, I'll stab it. Okay, do you want to charge... At them, and if so, one does visibly look more hurt by the breath than the other. Yeah, I'll try. Tram- I'll try to tram- I'll try to trample one. Uh, that guy. Okay. I move forty feet. Do I reach it? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure exactly what I. Okay. I'll say that was just forty. Okay. So, right, use the hoofs. Thirteen. Uh, 13, they block up their shield. Okay. Now they, I stab them. Uh, 
It's an 18. Uh, an 18. You stamp through a bit of their split meal. So, damage. Oh, um... Nine magical damage. Okay, they are dead. There's oh. One more in this tower. Uh, where, where is it? Is it on range with a melee attack? I would say so, yes. Then I'll try then to hit it again. Uh, stabby stab. 19 to hit. That hits. Uh, 12. Oh, that's max damage. Uh, no. Well, 12. Um, slashing damage. Magical. Okay. That one's bloodied, but not out of the game just yet. Uh, that's it. Because I moved. I, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, on, after your turn, Volg, it is Prism. Prism, I think you're the one for the attack. I was hiding behind a pillar. That's about the most I know of. I know we came in from one direction. Everybody else charged in, and I was screwing around with spells from cover. Yeah, that platform is elevated a bit. I think you were hiding behind it. That so I can't see anything right now. Oh, you can, because you your head around and doing stuff. Okay. Who's the closest ally that's fighting somebody? Uh, probably River. Both River. Okay. And he's just fighting one of the regular Draugr? Uh, he looks like he was fighting them, but um, on the last turn a month ago, uh, he ran up to Periwinkle and brought it back. And uh, uh, where I left up was by the forge, uh, taking cover behind that one body, and one of the mech suits guys was approaching me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the mech suit friend doesn't see me? Nope, you were hiding. <laughs> and it, it definitely wants to go after... Um... Okay. So he's going to have a fun time. I'm going to shrink him. Okay. Uh, what's Me or the that? ogre? <laughs> yes. The, the mech suit, Mav. Okay. The mech suit. <laughs> that would be hilarious if he shrunk Mav, though. I would it, say that. I'm going to fight you. Yeah! It's a con save. Okay. Uh, 15. Rolling? 15 does hit. Wasted spell slot. That's the DC is 14. Okay, it, it rolled really oh. good. Yeah. Um, so I oh. will just go back into hiding. It starts to constrict a bit and then goes back to what it was. It seems like it's, you know, chaos is going on right now. And the big thing that's got the enemy's attention more than you guys now is the dragon. You seem more concerned about that. Okay. Oops, well, so. I'm still going to still gonna use my bonus action to hide because I don't trust anything around here. Okay. Which gives me... What is my stealth set? Hey, 21. Pretty sure um, Liliana doesn't even know where it is. Hey, okay. um, that's your turn. Yes, that's my turn. Okay, then up next will be Harry. Harry, you are currently prone and at 12 hit points. Guess what? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep, that's me. And, uh, and you're wondering time, how I got into this as, situation. As a little bit of a refresher for you, you attempted to like punch a wound to see if you kept your rage going, and I was like, no, you went unconscious, so you were not raging right. I'd like to rage. You tried to Kylo Ren, and it didn't work. Well. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, my uh, right next to you. Well, not right next to you, but pretty close. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Old Zoom chat. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna rage. Okay. I think I can rage. Uh, well, let me, 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 Oh, better not die again. You know what I mean? I okay. I'm raging. I, think you can, uh, I think you can do it twice. Or... Um, depends on three the, times. I three times, as you say. Yeah, I, I say. I think it depends on your level, but I can't ever remember. Uh, you can do it a lot. I could do it three times, and guess what? This was the last one. So, all right, what's that one? We could say you're doing this as you're spending half your movement getting up. Yeah. Describe what um, an intangible spirit, which looks like a flump or a pixie, appears within five feet of one creature of your Again? choice that you could see with, I know, uh, within 30 feet of you. Wait, 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 wait. Um, uh, a green uh, flump appears. <laughs> And she's got a red wig on that has braided hair around the side. And she goes, Hi, my name's Fiona. Fiona Flump. It's nice to meet you. I'm kind of like dying right now, but I'm going to make it be. I'm going to be strong about it. Um, and then I'm going to use... <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah okay so i got another 20 feet that i can go um because i use half my movement uh there's a, what there's a is... hammer guy within that range um okay probably the most important thing you see now that you're conscious and able to look around is you see this shadowy dragon and you see in the middle of the shadowy dragon is a floating hand inside the dragon and it seems to like he moves his hand what like the this fuck? and then like the head moves. <sighs> uh he's not doing that. Gotta, sure. gotta call it's mom fine. about this. I uh, I know it's been a month in real life, but I gotta wait like at least like two more weeks for the the thing to to refresh anyway. Uh <laughs> I um yeah I'm gonna um I'm gonna run up I'm not going to recklessly attack uh because that, that would give them uh advantage on the their first attack on me and I do not want to do that um I guess with all their so attacks. I'm just going to regularly attack yeah I guess it is it's been a while um you, I'm gonna run up to the you're, one. You're attacking the the pain engine thing, guys, right? The hammer guys. Yeah, I guess so. Are they the closest? Yes. Um, do you attack the Drugar inside the Tumton, or you just attack the whole? Thing? I'm not gonna attack the whole thing. Okay. No, I'm not gonna attack the whole thing. I'm just gonna attack it. Okay. If you would try to attack the, the core of it, so to speak, the, the the pilot, you'll have a disadvantage on the attack. But it will do to extra damage. Mm, a natural 20! Oh, and but it's disadvantage, so it's a 17. <laughs> So hang on, seventeen plus six is. No. <laughs> I got really excited. Twenty three. I got twenty three on it. It okay. would have been a twenty six if I had kept the the natural twenty. <laughs> I was about to say, did you roll two nat twenties? Because it didn't seem that way. It no, like I rolled, rolled a, one. I rolled, like, a, eh. I rolled a seventeen and a natural twenty, and that's the only natural twenty I have. I have rolled with Periwinkle, I think, and I was just excited for a second. <laughs> And also, I have a fever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, this attack does hit, and you do an extra d10 damage. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, this is my first attack. Do you want me to roll the the second attack? Um. 
Okay, I'm going to retroactively do something. So two of the three of these mech pain engine guys are really, really, really messed up. And the other one, not so messed up. You go for one of the, the weaker ones, or are you go in for the, the one that has the most health? The one with the most health. Okay. Um, then I would save the rest of your attack. So just do your attack on this one. Okay. And we'll go for it. So an extra D10 damage? Yes. Okay. Same damage type is whatever your weapon. It was cocked. Hang on. So if you were okay. a mage, for example, and used Firebolt, it would be an extra D10. Wait, repeat that? Oh, it's just an example. Hypothetically, if you were using something like Firebolt, it would have been an extra D10 to fire. But for your weapon, okay. I think it's a D10 slash. No, it's it's D12 slashing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's but a great slashing. I mean, the bonus damage would be slashing. He's more meaning the damage oh. type rather than the damage itself. Oh, okay. All right, so another D10. And so, uh, don't forget your raging. Uh, t- uh, let me recheck. Okay. Uh, so a 22 damage. Okay. <clears throat> you stab at the Drugar in there, great axe, and it goes straight into their chest and they scream out in pain. And as they do, the things, the machine itself seems to get like supercharged and over energized by the amount of pain that the Drugar is having. And it attacks you as a reaction with its multi attack. Well, it's been fun, guys. So, first the claw, then the hammer. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, 30 20 was the lowest. Oh, no, they have advantage, don't they? Because you recklessly attack. No, no, they she don't. Re- no, they she don't. She didn't no, recklessly don't. attack. She said that very no, clearly. She don't. said that she wasn't okay. recklessly attacking okay. to make sure this did- that didn't happen. 30 20 was the lowest on both attacks. I just want to point out there hasn't been a Scotty round game that I've been in with Callie that he hasn't tried to kill her multiple <laughs> times. I don't. Try I to was kill just her. talking. To- she runs like she runs her characters like I do, and they run head first into suicidal situations. I mean, I don't that, think shame. So, of all of my characters that I've played over the last like four years that I've been playing with everybody, I've only lost two. So, one of them I mean- was because of you. <laughs> Allie, you need to remember the safe word. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. I, 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 my armor class dice. is a, my armor class is fifteen. Okay, so uh, nine bludgeoning damage from the claw. Okay, and then an, another nine from the hammer. I'm down again. Did you, you half them, Callie? Ha- have them? Oh, both. half of it. Yes. Yeah, half you're of raging. both. You take eight total then. Eight total. Before. You're still up, but you're looking really bad. <laughs> okay, I have four hit points, and I have a second attack. Yeah, now you can. Continue. Is that okay? It was a cool. reaction thing. Like it says immediately after that attack, they halted. All right. Ooh. Is it same same deal disadvantage, but I get an extra D ten if I. If you want to, just keep in mind what happened last. Well, not if I like kill she's him. Done four rounds with That's Ivan Drago true. right now. Hmm? All, all I picture with Callie is I didn't hear no bell. I didn't, <laughs> like, yeah. Does she look like she's gone four rounds with Ivan Drago right now? <laughs> yes. All right. Disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Cool. I don't think that. Uh, Plus six. Fifteen? Uh, it does not get through its armor. As it puts up its claw arm and blocks it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do anything else yeah. in there? Well, the flump does. Ooh, what is the flump? Blows out. It explodes. Where? <laughs> in front of the guy that I'm at right now. You want to make it so uh, you're not in that? Yeah. Uh, right. how fo- I'll say that yeah. you can get to these pain engine guys. Okay. Uh, Dex? Uh, Dexterity saving throw. DC? Actually, I'll just 
Let's see what I got. Um, 14 was the high end. Okay. Give me a minute. Eight. Probably con base. 11. Con. So, six. Uh, 14. It, it's, I think it's save or suck. Okay. Then one goes through and one doesn't. Okay. And the, um, one that, the one that went through, of course, is not the one you're currently engaged. Okay. Uh, that's five points of force damage. Okay. Um, well, that kills the other one. Oh. So, got that. And that's your turn. Yeah. Wait. Hang on. I've got movement still, right? I would no. Never mind. It would. Ca- it would. It they would. Half your movement to get up. You had twenty feet left, right? You use yeah. ten of your movement. Yeah. You don't. You don't want to use your movement. So. I don't because I. I can't disengage. Yeah. Well, I'm still gonna go down. So good to see you all. <laughs> I already put the O seven in the chat, Callie. I already put the O seven in the chat for you. I, I okay. sh- I, you're not the only target up there. I was. I was helping to protect you. If I remember right. Uh, well, when you went down, I got I went up there. <clears throat> okay. Because well, last I remember, a- last I remember, I was I was soul knife fighting with one of them. Well, uh, she then if you're up there uh, with Perry, she'll turn to you and say, "See you later," <laughs> and then uh, like kind of like clutch on into herself uh yeah and that's that's it for my turn okay those of you that understand dwarvish on their turn hear them say it's a dragon attack the dragon priorities to it let let lord sunblight know and um the kogoth and the hammer guy disengage and move off towards um, the double doors and the northwest part of that of the forge. It's right next to the very first tower, uh, X-23 the, on the map. They disengage so they don't yeah. get an attack and rock. Okay. And vice versa. Yeah. You can't swing at them. Um, they go do that, and I'm going to say most of the javelin Go flying towards the dragon. Um, then I'm going to roll a bunch of wisdom save. Because um, you guys notice the javelins all go straight through the dragon. Like it's not even there. I got to make 11 wisdom save. Only one more not. Or so we're still frightened. So then I'll say the two the two true guard that saw through the illusion are actually going to oh you know that one's dead. The one that saw through the illusion um, <laughs> will actually throw He saw the illusion that was life. Well actually Throw its javelin at Andrew. But it's really oh. far away, so it's a disadvantage. Because it can it can see through the dragon and sees like, oh, there's this thing in the middle that's controlling it. Kelly, don't say no. He's taking fire for us. Uh with two nat twos at disadvantage, definitely does not. Oh my god. Um, Why can't you roll like that against us? I ask my dice. Um then after their turns, it is Okay, so two of them just ran past us to go to the doors? Yes. Um, uh, Kogoth and one of the hammer guys. Um, the engine, the pain guys. Um, How far away from, from me are they? Uh, let's see. You were, you slid over to where um, Volg was. Yeah, where, where Volg and Perry were at at the moment. About 40 feet away. 40 feet? Okay. And they're around the tower because you were like at the tower. 
so they're not visible from your angle. Okay. But I know where they're heading. All right. So how high up are the towers again? Uh, they look about 20 feet up. Okay. Would it be acrobatics to try and just leap off one of them safely? Um, we're, you're not up at the top of them. You were at the foot of the stairs. So you're on oh, the ground okay. level. All right. So I'm going to um, bonus action dash to get ahead of them. Okay. And just skid to a stop in front of the doors and just fling out at least uh, fling out one of my daggers so I can only make the one dagger attack because I use my bonus action to dash. Okay. Do you go for the Quagoth or do you go for the, the Pain Machine Drew Guard? Which one looks more screwed up? Uh, that's a tough question. They both look really, like, really beat up. Okay. I did stab the Quagoth last set time, uh, this time. Okay. Last turn. Like you're, right. you're pretty sure the machine thing, the uh, Drugar in the machine is only moving because of the machine. Mm -hmm. um, and the Quagoth is alone. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get the Quagoth and hopefully I can, you know, hopefully somebody else will pick up the, um, um, <clears throat> actually I got an idea. I'm going to just attack the Quagoth first before I do anything else. Okay. That is a 26 to hit. Yeah, yeah, that's literally double its AC. So yeah. Okay, and that is sweet. That is max damage. That is 11 damage to the Quagoth. I'm assuming I don't get sneak attack because there's no allies and it can see me. Nope, but no need. It yep. Is... So I just dash, uh, like dash in front of them and there is just a pause as it, look, it, as it looks down and sees that it, that it has a pink light in front of its face as when I rushed past them, I buried one of my side blades in the back of its head and the blade came out, out of its head and then it just topples. And then I am going to shout at the top of my lungs in, <laughs> damn it, Vex. <clears throat> I didn't know damn it, Vex was a language. Damn it. It, it is. Both right? of the you. amount of times I make people do it, it definitely is a language. Both of you guys. I'll be glad now. Uh, I'm <clears throat> I'm going to, to shout out in Sylvan. Volo, we got another one trying to warn the boss. Since you're the one that's probably the fastest, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Um Then after you, it is Ripper's turn. Okay, so you're, you're hiding behind cover, Violet. Yeah, near the the, for, the forge. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that was attacking Perry is one of those that disengaged. Um, no. Actually, wait, no, no. Yes, sorry. That that one specifically was the one disengaged, but there's still. Another one. The one that's uh, encroaching on me? Uh, yeah. All right, but how far away is it? Uh, it's, with, it's well within 30 feet. All right. Uh, how many spearmen do we still have? Up? Uh, at least two of the four towers are completely unarmed. None of you have fired at any of them. Completely unharmed. Yep, not a scratch on them. You guys have been focusing on the two northern towers. The two eastern ones are most are untouched except for freaking out because of the dragon. How bright is it in this room? Um, have you ever been in a steel mill? Yeah, that bright. So basically, the fire from the forge is the only thing that's really illuminating this thing. Mm -hmm. But it's really all that's needed. In here. That's enough light. It's right, not I have daylight, of course. Okay, I have a question. If the room suddenly became filled with steam, would that cause disadvantage for the javelin throwers? That might. It would definitely add to your guys' AC. Wouldn't that obscure our vision as well? Yes. 
But right now we're getting picked off at range. Yeah, and we're mostly close range people, so that might be a good yeah, idea. I say it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just tell you right now, it'll be count as being heavily obscured. If that means anything. So does that uh, mean they, they would be throwing at disadvantage? Heavily obscured, such as darkness, opaque fog, or dense foliage, blocks vision entirely. Creatures effectively suffers from the blinded, so they can try to shoot at you, but it'll be a disadvantage. Okay. So they're pretty much, they're, they're literally throwing blind. Like, they're just guessing. Around. Well, even though this wasn't, the, the spell wasn't designed for that, so I'd like to use create food and water and dump 30 gallons of water on this forge. Okay. Um, as you do that, you get an inspiration point, because I really like your creative. Um, and um, we'll say for now, it's gone to a 20-foot radius. Is it immediately like, from there, and you're well within, like you're almost at the very middle of it, um, as it expands out. It covers most of the dragon, and it covers, I think, almost everybody, except for Vol, because Vol's at the tower. But the, the, the mist that you've created hasn't quite hit where the towers are at yet, but everyone else, it's doing, it. aka, it's doing what you wanted it to do. Everybody's heavily obscured from the javelin. Do you do anything else? I'm going to use my movement to break away from that one that was approaching me and head back towards where Prism is in the hallway. Okay. Far away. Um, you would get out of the fog area that you just made. but they can't see that backed in as like a wall um, but prism would be able to okay that's your turn yep okay um, on Andrew's turn um, the dragon decides to turn over towards the door and it sees it sees that Elena went over there. So it's not going to use its 60 foot cone of breath there. Um, that would hurt. So instead, it's going to look back up at the, the top left tower. Actually, no, 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 no. It'll go all the way over to the other towers that are unharmed. You see it um, stomp over the forge, like the forge, like it's not even affected by it, like there's no pss or anything, as it seems to get completely obscured into your mist, except for its head with its glowing green eyes from its shadowy form, peeks out of the mist on the other side. And shooting out of it is green flames into one of the towers. And um them to make saving. I just need for what kind of save. Okay. Yeah. All these D20s. Just the guys in the tower. Oh, hey, they all failed. So then, a lot of fire damage. As you guys see, the the, um, the green light seem to contrast with the red light in, from the furnace. Just right into the tower. Uh, wow. Um, actually, killing all of them. Um, well, I don't have to mark their Frightened of the Dragon anymore. There. Okay. Um, then we loop it back around to Lily. Uh, you're currently muted. 
Callie myself. So there's just the pain machine on the ground, right? Um, it's hard to tell at the moment. The last you saw, there was a pain the, machine. The last there. I saw of it was yeah, that, that was the right? last thing that wasn't in a towering. All right, then uh, I'm going to head towards it. Okay. Um, you head towards it, and you're pretty sure you can kind of see it through the silhouette. I'll still count it as heavily obscured, because it goes both ways. Yep. So you'd be, but, you'd be uh, swinging blind. Uh, I technically have neutral, because I'm hidden still. Sneak attack. Okay. Balance is out. Hell yeah. That's a 16 plus 8, uh, 24. Yeah, that goes through. Hell yeah. One, two, three, four. 10, 16, 17 damage. Okay. The machine seems to jolt very quickly, like you like it just got energized really quickly from you attacking it. But mm -hmm. it but it falls over dead. And you notice the machine is still trying to move, but the person inside is dead and definitely works down. And then I will uh, take another bonus action to hide again. Okay. That is a 20... I'll see you, uh, two. I'll see you have advantage because you're in this. Oh, okay. Room. You don't need it, but... Uh, that is a 25 with a net 20. Okay. Um, that's your turn? That's my turn. All right, Bog. Um, there are the two... So... The guys in the tower that you're in right now. Um... There's more than one. Oh wait, no. There's only one guy left. Okay. I double check. I was like, oh, I, I miscalculated a lot. I forgot to delete the fact that he isn't frightened of the dragon anymore because he's dead. Yeah, there's one guy left. Hey, uh, what did Elena yell in Sylvan? I should. Say again. What did you yell at the ball? I said, Volg, we've got one running for the doors to warn their boss. To the door where? I <laughs> I shouted like from over this area basically. But that was the gist of it. I... To warn the doors to warn their boss. You would warn their boss. Okay, okay. You would have mm -hmm. just seen them. Like from your perspective, since you're facing the forge from standing at one of the towers, you would see uh, a Kogoth in one of the paint engines moving towards these double doors that are on the northwest part of the room on the map, towards X to me. And um, First, uh, three. you saw Elena come up and stab the Kogoth and kill it right before the mist started. And she said that right before the mist. But now the mist completely obscures your vision of the, um, the other target. Okay, uh, each quarry is five feet? Uh, ten. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a big room. Okay, there's no way I made it. Uh, do, do I see more or less where they are when they're running? Like, are they near the door or? Yeah, they're like maybe five feet away from the door. Oh, there's no way. Actually, ten feet away because Elena moved. So it's, uh, well, I, don't, I mean, if I dash, I, I think I can maybe make it. I just make it. Okay, then I will do that. I will. Okay, yeah, I will take the disengage action. No, disengage, no, sorry, the dodge action, because who knows how many people's going to throw jello into me. Um, and I will dash towards the door on X23. Okay. Probably running blindly. Both of those take action. An action. So do oh, dash is an action. No, then I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dodge. I, I dash. Okay. Um, I'm going to say this Drugar is distracted and frightened by this dragon. 
that their attack opportunity would be at disadvantage. Okay. Um, I don't think a 10 hits you. You're good. No. Okay, then I will, since I cannot see them very well, I will just like try to block X23, like uh, I'll, and I'll drop in front of X23, hoping it opens uh, pull, not push. All right, as you go into full gallop, heading that direction, are you heading towards the door or are you heading where you, that the enemy was? The door. Okay. You move past some, some um, silhouettes, fuzzy silhouettes in the fog, but you get to the door. And Elena, you would feel the, um, and hear the galloping of fog. Yeah, she just, just smirks. Just like, yes. Um, and I think that's, that's your it. turn. Yeah, that good yes. action to come. You used everything. Um, Prism, it is now your turn. You see River moving towards you, and you saw River do that clever tactic on the forge. Um, but now that they've done that, you don't have visibility on it. So I don't see anything running towards the doors. No. Because the um the forge is in the center. That twenty foot radius of steam would is enough to obscure your vision from most, if not everything. Okay. If I move to the other side of the platform and move up towards X twenty four, would I see anything at all or same thing? Uh roll perception. Perception, perception. As you do perception. that. Ah, plus five. Sixteen. Are you you're looking towards the doors, I assume? Yes. I mean, I'm looking for anything past the cloud, so yes. Okay. You do just for the brief moment see something very fast move through the mist. Um you see something with a glowing arm mist, and you see something else in there. And you don't need to roll insight to think, well, the really fast thing is probably Vogue, and the glowing arm thing is probably Elena. Hmm. But keep in mind that everything in there is considered heavily obscure, so you don't have direct vision. Yeah. That's, that's, more, that's more to help if you were doing like an area specific. You could differentiate. Great. That very succinctly causes me not to be able to do much of anything. If you have like a cantrip that's like a, a few you shoot a single target, you can still try that. It'll just be a disadvantage. Well, the best I have is a. a uh, Wisdom saving cantrip. Okay. You want One to try creature it? you can see within range. Yeah. Let me double. Blocks vision entirely. Damn it. All right. Yeah. No, it's, that's fine. I'm just trying to figure out how a support mage can support when they can't see what they're trying to support. I assume Volg is heading that direction and for a specific reason, yes? Oh, yeah, you all heard. Actually, no, you said that in Sylvan. Well, no, but you, you did say yeah, I saw Volg going through the, the steam, though. Yes. And I knew it was Volg. Yes. Okay, so I would assume he'd be heading towards that direction for a specific reason, yeah. even if I didn't understand what that was. Mm -hmm. I mean, you probably would know it was Sylvan, even though you don't understand that. So, yeah, you know, like how people can know you're speaking French but not know what you're saying. And you would have would have probably heard me just shout "Fog" because that's a name, and the rest of it would just be Sylvan. Well, the yes. rest of it is irrelevant because I'm basing this off of seeing figures in the steam, not mm -hmm. what I heard being screamed. Well, you hmm. you heard that, and you know Elena's voice, and then you saw the movement. So. That was moving a lot faster than everything else. 
So it's yeah, like it's to assume that yeah. it's yeah. A horse on a mission. Exactly. So I'm gonna do something rather reckless. I am going to use job. well, she's down at the moment. No, she's down. Um I got four hit points. She's almost down at the moment. So I will take my full movement to go around the platform on X25 and then use Misty Step to get over to the doors. Roll me a D6. One, two, three, D6. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Am I about to meet my god? Three. Oh, as you finish your run, suddenly appearing next to you is Prism. Prism, you're on the other side of the mist and fog is fully. Cool. Oh, hi, Prism. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. I can't do anything else just yet. I can help. I can support you since you're the only one that I can see. Uh, well, actually, since you guys are here, um, let me describe this door. It's a 15-foot high, 10-foot wide iron gate that seems to be set into a 20-foot high, 15-foot wide wall has a bulky padlock oh no it doesn't never mind if you had x-ray vision you'd know there's a padlock <laughs> whoops in case that's your turn um oh wait no not necessarily am i able to make it to that little alcove just directly south of x23 next to the doors uh, sure. Then I would like to use my bonus action to hide behind that. Let oh, Volg be the target. You used your bonus action for me. Mm, that's a spicy Misty ball. step should be, it is a bonus action, son of a bitch. Yep. But then I can use my action to hide. Yes? Yes. <laughs> I was just trying to think, did you use your action? No, you didn't. Damn it, Scotty. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Nothing, because it's all missing stuff. Give me your stuff. 18 and 321 again. Okay. 19, 20, 20. Yeah, 21. That's your turn. Yes, that is everything. Sorry for taking so long. No, you're fine. Um, it's a very chaotic situation. You do hear on the other side of that little alcove that you're in, very angry dwarven, and you think you hear loading up um, as it is near eastern. What can I see? I'm having a weird sense of deja vu. You're standing <laughs> by yourself in the mist. Can hear a battle going on around you. Can't really see. Mm -hmm. You remember where things so, were oh no. before the mist happened. Do I? So you can, um, you can like guess debate, like, oh, I remember there was a bad guy over here. I could go that way. Like it's not obscuring your movement at all. Yes. However, I only have four hit points, and I'm terrified. That I'm gonna go down. It's gonna be mist everywhere. Something's gonna happen with the dragon, and I'm just gonna die on the spot. So, where's the door? <laughs> Which door? The door one? Volg went to. Okay, you you head that direction. Uh, you use your movement to head that direction. Hang on, and then we second. can go from there. I, uh, yeah. Because both you and everything in here are heavily obscured. Uh, let me check something real quick. Um, I can't see anything with dark vision, right? We've already seen. No, not, not um, Okay. Even if um, you're in melee with something, you both would be heavily obscured and have disadvantage on hitting. Okay. Uh, then I am... I am going to use some of my movement to go towards where I think Volg went 
and I'm going to shout VOG! Do I get a response? <laughs> That's up to VOG. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like, I cannot stop because I already did my movement, but yeah, I will shout, like, where are you? You do hear, uh, you do hear really close by clinking of, like, the worrying of the machine thing. And it, like, I mean, it's, it's a very... And the noise question to ask. It, but it, it, it's nowhere close to you. I have an idea. Um, using an action, I can open my awareness to the presence of concentrated magic. Until the end of my next turn, I know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of me that isn't behind total cover. When I sense a spell, I learn which school of magic it belongs to. Just give me the rundown. What do I? <laughs> I'm gonna use my action. Uh, do I sense where Handru is? I understand that there's probably a lot of magic in this room. Uh, you guys, make me look up both both uh, obscured rules and cover rules. Damn. <laughs> Okay, because you it specified total cover, the fog actually does affect that. Because heavily obscured and cover are two different things. Um, would I know that before I cast yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. If not, then er, you would have. So even if that somehow didn't work, I would have said your character wouldn't have done that other way. Um, okay. But you, it's, it's fine. You Out 60 feet, you said? Yeah. Okay. You sense immensely powerful illusion magic just within your 60 foot. Um, let's see. I think that that's Handrew. I just assume. Yeah. Um, okay. You catch very faint conjuration magic coming from the forge. And it's like quickly, like it's barely there and it's almost completely gone. That's from River casting their spell. And Sense very powerful necker. But those are the only three um, magical auras that you sense. Except for, you know, the, mm. the expected ones, like Elena's. Um, I'm not sure if that'd be Abjuration, Soul Knife. Technically, uh, it's Psionics, it's... but whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's technically not magic. You would sense the Psionics from Elena, because Ivy is like, oh, we're going to make. Bionic and magic. Hmm. So I don't like. Vogue isn't wearing anything magic. No. Oh, you would sense. Um... The silver sword counts as magic? For the detect magic? Silver? No. Um, you would sense whatever school Misty Step is from Prism. So you would have sensed that happen too. I'm going to just walk in that direction. I'm going to walk towards where I hear Volg. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're using your dash for that? Technically not dashing, but you know, you did your movement and then you're gonna do another move. Uh well I said I walk a little bit and then I call out for Volg and then so yeah, if I it's a forty foot movement, so if I dash, I'll go eighty feet. I just want to get to vault in this turn, if it's possible. Give me perception. <sighs> That's redundant. Six. <laughs> okay, you're outside the fog. You can see the door. Um. And you can see Falk, but you're about 10 feet away from Falk at the end of your movement. Okay. I'm just, yeah, I got nothing else I could do. You notice so. in front of you, though, as you move out, as you're looking through the arrow slits to X team, there are more Drugar in there, and they have crossbow bolts or crossbows aiming right at you. At me? Yes. Like, they look like they were getting ready for something, and then when you just showed up out of the fog, they just all pointed them at you. Do I do this? 
<laughs> what have I done to you? Uh, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm just gonna go. You still, Bog, have... look out! That flump, it comes back to your return, right? Yes. Um, Hi, I'm, I'm Bobby Flump. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, it's it... okay, Dad. I'm just... I, I, barely... oh. I can't do this one. All right. Can I, yeah. Um, I'm okay, can I, uh... <laughs> uh, the flump comes back. Um, I'm going to lose rage after this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, going to smack yourself? I'm going to lose rage anyway. Uh, well, can I? I already used my action to do the, the thing. And I used my bonus action to dash, and now I just got the... Yeah, you're right. With the flump attacking me, no, because... Is the flump a bonus action? No. Well, I, I, yes. No, wait, hang on a second. Let me check. Probably is. If you take damage, it continues your rage. Mm -hmm. well, Let me check. I'm just though. seeing. I don't it think might... she can do anything with the flump because um, you use yeah. the bonus action for the magic. I thought the flump just automatically exploded when it was. No, summoned. you can use this effect again, summoning another spirit on each of your turns as a bonus action. Vogue, look out! Like, can I use my inspiration? I mean, it, it's probably a no. Because I'm stretching it a lot, but can I use my inspiration point to toss a shield? Well, my shield at Berwinkle, so at least she gets plus two AC. I don't have him here because I haven't got everything out of the boxes yet. But we'll just say hypothetically, I got a little duck out. Okay. Hello, my please is inspiration point plus my next bonus action to like kick it with my hooves at Berwinkle. Hang on a second. Okay. And obviously because, because I, I got this this homebrew rule from Chris Perkins himself. The thing I I have to ask because it's the thing he asks for it when he does it is what's the reasoning why they should get get this bonus? Convince me why they should get this. Um so as Valk, I should now see the, the guys with the crossbows, and I should see also the second bear winkle stepping out of the mist. Mm -hmm. She's my best friend. And she's almost dead already. Keep in mind the excuse you can give me doesn't need to be in game. Like I don't know what <laughs> that wasn't good enough. <laughs> I it is. I'm just saying if you wanted to be like Scott. Don't kill Callie again in front of me, please. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, also that, and I, I mean, like, if if I have to find excuses, I will find them. Like, my internet connection is not very good. <laughs> okay. If, if he kills her off two more times, she gets a free Sunday. Okay, all that, yeah. plus no. the plus... I got a punch card. <laughs> plus the internet connection <laughs> excuse uh. gives you a nice bonus... Of uh, Merwinkle, roll me a d12. Please. Please tell me it wasn't a one. It wasn't a one, it was a two. <laughs> okay, all right. That's the Is that any better? <laughs> That's the bonus on your armor class you're going to get. Okay. 17 until a, until the beginning of Bog's next turn. Okay. As duck shaped fog kind of obscures you a bit. <laughs> oh god. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> how do I how do I fix this? Okay, never mind. Um okay, so plus two. Yes. Um cool. 17 guys. Nice. That's Volk's turn. Actually, we know that was that wasn't was my turn. That was Perry's yeah. turn. Um their turn's next. No. Um that one tower 
got totally decimated by the dragon. Um, the other tower is going to continue throwing javelins at them. Um, and that one Drugar that's not frightened is going to continue trying to get um, Andrew. Ooh, with an 18, that does hit. Um, oh, feels... Nine piercing damage to Handrew. Then Handrew needs a concentration. Can you take that? Then Handrew needs to do a concentration roll. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So, a bunch of javelins fire at the the shadowy dragon, and one of the javelins actually hits Handrew, and it's like enough of a counterbalance and weight to it that it messes up his somatic components that he was doing to it and he's just like barely floating in the air as it just like has him imbalanced and there's a javelin like stuck comically into his floating hand in the air and the shadowy dragon disappears as he loses concentration um so that was one that's one tower um and i guess they're no longer scared because there's no dragon anymore um Actually, surprised they hit. Then, did they also throw at disadvantage because of the fog or steam? The dragon was technically not fully in it, so they were aiming at the. Actually, Handrew would be in it. Let me roll another one. That would. It was a nat twenty, but to say it was a disadvantage, it's just a normal hit. Okay. Um. That first tower is going to throw everything it can towards Elena, but they can't see her, so all their attacks are going to be a disadvantage. Uh, right on. 17, 15, and se yeah, 17, 15, and 16. Only two hit. Okay. Um, then you would take... Eighteen piercing damage. I'll uncanny dodge to half that. Okay, it's nine each. All right, so that'll just be... Thirteen damage, then. Okay, thirteen damage. Okay. Um, then... Uh, Drugar, that were getting ready in arms as they hear a freaking war going on in the forge, um, aim out of the arrow slits at the visible target and fire. Um, four of them. So, oh. ah. Um, Does the 17 hit? Needs it. Okay. Me? On parry. Yeah, it, on parry, okay. Oh, that one's not good. Okay. Um, your AC is currently 17, right? It's plus two. Okay. Two of them would hate you. Does the rage end at the end of your turn if you don't do anything? Okay. Isn't she in the mist though? Like ducked in the mist? No, she was she just got oh. outside the mist and saw you, but also showed where she was at. I just realized that um the witch light dice set comes with a D hundred but not the D ten. Is that or I because one of the crossbow guys I'll just do it online. Got an out one. So let me roll with that. As I stole from that. Actually, you know what? Um, Harry, why don't you roll me the D100? They're not one. 
Really? Yeah, sure. Why not? 25. Okay. Um, a crossbow is a video game like flipping glitch where like it hits like another object and it collides with it weird and it goes dun, 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 and it goes flying out of the arrow slit out into the room where you guys are at. The 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 result was they hurled their weapon fifteen feet away in a random direction. Um but the other two attacks that do hit you is one piercing and then nine piercing. One and then nine? Mm -hmm. So ten. Yes. Fade out of existence now. Uh, so I'm down. Uh, once again. Hello, Over five. Friend. Yeah. So how how much how many points is it that you're just like automatically dead? Uh, it's not like it's your total health again. So if okay. you had 50, I know you don't, but if you had like 50 HP, if you hit zero and you take another 50 damage after hitting zero, then you're dead. I have 55 HP normally. Oh, cool. I was I was just saying <laughs> that number hypothetically. No, I, I know. I'm just like, oh god, I'm stressed. Okay. I'm down. But that's it. Uh, all right. Um anyone else? Um, oh yeah, that one tower um, that Volk was in. Um, there was one guy left. And I'm going to say he's going to spend his turn turning large. And I'll be, I'll be there. Turn. So then after them, oh, the big double doors that you guys are at. You hear on the other side them starting to unlock it. I don't know this one. And it sounds like it just got unlocked, but it's not unlocked yet. Um, then it is Elena's. Okay, so how are the doors like set on our side? Okay, um, so the southeast tower on the map, mm -hmm. they're completely unharmed. The tower just north of it, all wiped out from the dragon. The next tower um, only has one guy left, and he just turned large. Like, I mean, like, how, how are the doors set up on our side? Is there, like, a, what kind of mechanism are they using to open it? Or is there, like, are they, is it push or pull? What is it? Because we ran into that once and it nearly got us all killed. Uh, this looks like it is a pull. So they're pulling it open from their side? Yes. Looks like you can push from your side. Okay. I have a potentially stupid idea. Because how heavy are, do these doors look? Um, pretty heavy. OK. Hmm. Uh, so that 15 foot high and foot wide iron gate. OK, I'm going to do something incredibly stupid. I am going seeing the doors open and seeing Perry go down, I am going to just rush the door and just throw all of my weight against it to try and knock them off balance and fling them against the wall. Just smush them between the door and the wall. Or okay. at least one of the doors. Okay, give me a strength <laughs> check. Athletics. Shit. Athletics is terrible, but who knows? We all get lucky. 18. Okay. Um, the door flings open. You see three Drugar, and you hear one of them's um, behind the door as you fling the door open. Okay, I am going to put my back against that door uh, so that that guy is just... Let, let me explain that room a little bit further because you're not okay. looking into X, C. Because this could change okay. things for you. Okay. Um, it appears to be a cavern 
and it is unlit. The only light is coming from the forge. No, I don't think you really. It has a jagged 30 foot high ceiling. A strange sight confronts you as three of the Drugar, two of them are larger than normal, um, seem to be near uh, using ropes to restrain a hulking biped with an insectoid body. A large sack had just been removed from its molded head. I can get you a picture of what it looks like. Lovely. Oh shit. And uh Why did we come down here? Mm. Uh I'm gonna say for the sake of convenience, the tile that X sixteen is on is where mm -hmm. they are at. Right, okay. What I know what I know what that thing is? Uh, roll me a nature or arcana. Uh, okay. I will go with the one that I'm better at. Soft 20. Okay. Um, I don't know how much you know out of character, but I can fill you in if I need to. You know it. I, that's an Umber Hulk. Mm -hmm. So they just took a bag off of its head, right? Yes. I'm going, uh, now that I've slammed the door open, you were thinking I want to protect themselves from its using gaze that you know about. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to shift. I, I see them, t the, them pull the bag off its head. My eyes go wide. I'm going to brace myself back against the door and just fling my side blades in that direction the, to, and then shut my eyes to try and make sure it doesn't see me. The only time I'll be like looking is to like get a gauge on the situation and not look at it okay so you're aiming for the, the, hulk. the yeah i'm aiming for the umber hulk okay. so first one is a nah, that misses as a 10. i'm sure it misses because i don't know what this thing's ac is yeah uh, and second oh you know that was wrong wrong roll wrong roll higher than that i know that for sure yeah i rolled the wrong dice for the second one i'll no, wait. Offhand um, actually, one is... real quick, can you roll me a d6? Okay. D6. Five. Okay, that's how much damage you do to the Drugar that's behind the door. Oh, nice. All right, and I'm going to... For my now my offhand attack. This thing. Ugh, missing... I, I rolled a 10 twice. What the hell? Both, both of them hit in classic anime style when they go going to fight a tough enemy, where they just mm -hmm. hit and just unflinching. Like it yeah. Just takes and Elena just is like, <laughs> um, knock, knock. Guys, get in here. That's it. Okay. Uh, Trevor. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, that 20-foot radius mist turns to 40. So pretty much this entire room is now heavily absorbed. It's almost okay. the double doors. Alright. I would have saw the green flesh from the dragon the last round that would have taken out the northeast tower. Yes. Alright. Uh, how close could I get on my movement to the base of the southeast tower? Uh Considering you have to go around the forge, it'd be quite a bit. I mean, I'm down like near X25. I wouldn't be able just to just skirt that wall right there. It'd be it'd be about 50, 60, 50, 60 to do it from X25. Remember, each one of those tiles is 10 feet. So it's probably about the same distance from there to the double doors, which I really can't see at the moment. No. I mean, you can hear stuff going on over there. You just can't. All right. Well, I'll head over there to the double doors that uh, was there. And taking, I, I guess I could take a blind shot up, up the tower. 
Okay. Uh, you just roll a disadvantage then. Sixteen. Uh, it needs it beats. Got it. Oh, okay. Uh, Uh, first shot would do eight damage. Okay. You you hear it connect. You're not sure what the result of that connection was. Definitely hear it. Okay. And I would need to double roll again. Seventeen. Rolling randomly to see which guys you're you're. Um. Yeah. That's a seven. Okay. And I'll move as close as I can to where the party sounds are coming from. Okay. Um, then you're, you're moving towards the little door. And that's your turn. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, after Dr. River, go to Andrew. No one can see Andrew at the moment. Right now, it's just Andrew in that tower. No, since no one can see Andrew, uh, he pulls some bullshit. I don't know. You already pulled a really big. Um, I'm I'm sorry. A quick question. I I wouldn't have been able to see from where I'm at or through the fog of Perry going down, would I? No. Okay. Because you were you were definitely fully within. There's no gotcha, way. Gotcha. You might have heard her fall down, maybe. It happens. He's going to shake off the javelin as he flies over 30 feet an hour. Um, the doors are like, kill that, kill that bloody thing, Dwarven, as he... Um, Points his fingers at him, and uh, he casts Andrew. Hey. Oh, no, no, it's not a cantrip. My bad. It is for him. Need to make con saves. Oh, one made it. One made it. Since, since it's not a cantrip, so that saver sucks. So. Uh, but I rolled crap. All right. So then he's going to not do that ever again. He's like, damn, that was worthless. Um, we go back up to Liliana. So Liliana, the door opens. Heard Elena go like, guys. Well, I guess I'm gonna do the uh, the thing, and uh, I hear uh, Elena call out, "Guys!" and sound worried. So Lily's gonna head that way because I'm still in the fog, hidden. Yep. Okay, so you head towards her. I'm gonna say maybe 15 feet of your movement. You're out of the you're out of the fog and in the door frame, and with Elena, and you see this Umber Hulk and the shit. shit. I see. I'll see if Lilian. For Lilian, probably it has. And the Umber Hulk is like, I'll say 25, 30 feet away from where right. she's currently standing. Uh, can I? What should I roll to see if Liliana recognizes what this is? Uh, nature or Arcana. All right. I got a nat twenty. <laughs> okay. Same deal as uh, with Jan. Whatever you know out of character, you know in character. And if there's anything you need to ask me, I'll just tell you. Oh, I know the Umber Hulk very well. I've had to use it before. I've never actually used it as a DM. They're terrifying. Yes, they are. We're fucked. Um, with that, Liliana kind of looks to Elena and goes, 
Yeah, we're going to need to get it. Make sure we're not in the fog for this fight. And yeah, she'll... Uh, so you said there's a, dra- a Draugar. A Draugar roll, roll me a quick insight. Inside, I got a 19. Um, you know that its gaze can be very deadly. It won't work if yeah. it can't see you in the... But I also know it has blind sight. Or tremor sense, not blind sight. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to make the saving throws, but it's one of those things of, is it worth being able to hit it consistently? Because it's going to hit us consistently. Versus not watching it hit at all. I that's that's what I'm... You. Yeah. I, I, I like to live dangerously. <laughs> so you said there's a dra- uh, dra- Dragar in there, right? Just one, or...? You currently see three. All right. Well, I'm not going to go in there because I'm not of, fucking suicidal. Two of the three are ogre sized, and they are holding the restraints for this. They look like they were just about ready to let it go. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm still technically I'm still hidden. Technically, uh, yeah. I'll say you use the big giant doors as cover. You just peeked over. Yeah. And you're like shit. So, and quick peek out, peek back in. Shit. And then, yeah, she's going to... Well, first I'm going to... Um, one sec, bonus actions, what can I do? I can't take a good action with that. So I'll just hold action. Uh, I'm going to wait. The first thing that comes out of that door is getting stabbed. And that's my my turn. Are you are you fine if I make that condition a the first thing you see hostile? Yes, of Whether course. Whether it's door or otherwise? Yes. Okay. I mean, I figured no one's going to come out of that door on our side, so. Um, but yes, first hostile that comes out of that side yeah. is getting stabbed. Um, then it is Volk's turn. You would just rain through the mist, but it quickly caught up to you now in the heavily obscured area. But you're so we're... open, and Elena's like, guys... But I saw where Barwinkle fell. Yes. Which was 10 feet away. If I recall correctly. Yes. Ten so feet I south. will... 10 feet south. I will go 10 feet south. Um, you see Periwinkle on the ground with two bolts in her chest. So my medicine is a plus zero. So what we will do here, so I will grab her and carry it on my run, or whatever it's called. Okay. The, where you get on the horse. Um, Since you're carrying her, that would have your move. Okay, then, then I will move. <laughs> so it will move the rest, which was the 30 feet, so I move. 15. Yeah. Towards the door, if I can, out of sight of anyone shooting. Like, if I can get in between column or something. I'll say you're just barely within this fog wall. Okay. And I will yell. I, I, I assume picking up a wrinkle and carrying it, it was the action, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you can still talk. I don't... Yeah, I don't... I don't come across any enemies or anything? Uh, good question. Roll me perception. At disadvantage. <laughs> okay. I'm doing the same. Okay, so 13. Okay, as you're going through the mist, you're trying to get back to everybody with her on you. Just pass one of the pain ninja guys. They notice you and start hitting. Uh, one of the what? The Drugar in the machine engine thing. Oh. It's very, very busted, but it's still moving. I, I will get it with my hoofs. Okay. As a bonus action. You have disadvantage because I moved. Heavily obscured, but yeah, you can definitely do The melee also attacks? Yes. Okay. Well, that's fair. It goes both ways. Okay. Uh, that, that's fair. I mean, it actually makes sense. That's an eight, uh, 18? 
that much. Wait, wait a second. Yes, 18. 18 at disadvantage. Wow. Yeah, you hit. Yeah. Cover plus seven, which I, yeah. Uh, it's not much damage, though. Seven. Uh, bludgeoning. All right. I think they're freaking headed and they fall over dead. As you just continue going. You know, you're just trotting by and you just, and you just keep going. Oh, okay. Um, I will yell. I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Well, don't say too loud because I'm I'm like twenty five. Uh, <laughs> okay, I will yell. Um, Berwinkle is down. Healer. In. Medic. What languages do I know? None that River knows. So I will say it in common. Healer down, need a res, out of mana. As they would say in one of my favorite games, we need an apothecary. Brother, we need an apothecary. Sorry. Some 40k game. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, also need the heavy, but in any case. So this heresy. That's your turn, right? That's, that's everything I can do and a little bit more. All right. Prism. So, I'm very concerned at the moment. Would Prism know what this thing is that she sees beyond the doors? Uh, you move up to the doors and you see it, and you get to roll a nature or arcana check. Well, I'm probably going to go with arcana then. No one has stated out loud, it's an umber hawk <laughs> or anything. So, each time every one of you sees it. 21. I'm rolling 21s everywhere. Yep. Uh, yeah, you know you know a lot about Umberhawk. So then... Pretty much you ask I me need, anything, I can answer. Then that's exactly what I'm about to do, because I have to ask the stupidest question I have tonight. Despite having Tremor Sense, if I cast Blindness... Um... It'll still be able to use Tremor Sense to see. Tremor Sense can't. It can still use Tremor Sense. However, um, it would not be able to detect flying or incorporeal creatures. Do that. But that doesn't really affect it. Great. So we're, there went another plan. It's worth asking. Also, you think that might help with its confusing case? If it's Wait, blind, it doesn't might... know when to use it. Mm -hmm. That is a good point. That's actually a good point. Both you, since all three of you got like 20 plus on that check, you guys know the ins and outs of Umber. Okay. I'm going to try something slightly different first. Mm -hmm. I'm a grease him. Right under his feet. Grease. Okay. I need it. Dex check. Okay. Uh, the two Drugar are also next. So they're also please fail, please fail, please fail, please fail. Roll the Drugar first. Uh I got an 18. Really like a sound bite. What what like a cartoon like whoop bonk of yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> just just the um oh, what's the word the thing the just need to make like a, a soundboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the two Drugar, one got a nat 18, the other one got a nat 2. The Umber Hulk got a 3. Yes! Sorry, <clears throat> DC's so, 14. Umber Hulk is down. So one of the large Drugar are up, but large Drugar uh, prone and Umber Hulk. Oof. And then... The next question I have to ask is the areas directly beside X18, are those arrow slits? Uh, yeah. Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move. Hmm? I almost have a feeling somebody got shot through there. Ah. Well, regardless, I'm going to move south and hug the wall and try to hide again. Uh, 
Uh oh, fifteen. All right. You hide. That's your turn. Yes, I'm actually happy that that grease spell succeeded. Harry, I need you to give me that saving at the end of your turn. Remember, you do have a you have an inspiration point. Now would be the time to use it. I think you know what I'm about to say. Nat 20? Natural 1. Okay, that's 2 failure. You're not dead. It's 2 failure. I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast right now. It's okay. okay. I'm just going to sit here. Okay, Perry. Actually, it's not beating at all. Perry, you know... You know, in Kingdom Hearts, we get that like the continue screen. And they're like floating in darkness. Yeah, that's what you're feeling right now. You don't feel pain. You don't really. The sounds of the of what's going on around you are just very muffled and indecipherable way in the distance. And you feel something warm holding. So after Perry. Um, it is their turn, so you guys wiped out almost. Um, guys in Tower 1 are going to do stuff, you guys don't really see or care. The one guy left in Tower 2 is going to do stuff, you guys don't see or care. Um, Tower 4... Well, now that they can see through, he did his frost finger thing. Yeah, they're they're all going to in then in your guys' room. The, the big corridor that you're looking at. The two Drugar that were holding onto the Umber Hulk uh, turn invisible. The one Drugar that's not in the Grey Spell turns invisible. And the Umber Hulk spends half its movement getting up and it looks at all of you um, and it starts getting out of the grease. And as it gets out of the grease, everyone. Um, with everyone that's in the door that can see the Umber Hall, um, must give me Christmas saving. I can't see it. My eyes are closed. Yeah, you can avoid looking at it at the start of its turn. So, do you willingly? Are you willingly blind? I am not going to look I think at Liliana it. Liliana is not. Liliana. Liliana has already set herself to she's fighting this thing. Okay. Because I am dumb fuck. Hi. <laughs> what saving throw is it? Uh, charisma. Oh, thank God I have a good charisma score. Uh, 22. Okay. Um, weird colors come from its eyes, and you feel like you're slightly getting off balance for just a moment, but you're able to keep free. Um, wow, that's not even it's any of his actions. That just happens. Yeah, it's um, ridiculous. It's ridiculous, eh? That's nuts. Um, yeah, Umberhawks are bullshit. I mean, they're, they're a CR5, so. Yeah, and it already started moving up. So I think it's going to take the dash action to tunnel into the ground. I honestly should have pulled these things out on Thursday against my Ravnica group. So, you... You see it do that thing, and it realizes that didn't really hit you guys as much as it hoped. Like, maybe you guys knew what it, what that was going to do. So it just it went and dashed and burrowed to the ground. Um, yeah, okay, so that's their turns. 
So then after them, we will go to Elena. Me. OK. So technically nothing visible at the moment. Yeah. As soon as I started to hear digging, I would snap my eyes open, but keep my my eyes down on the on the floor so that I'm not looking at this thing. So now I have one person pinned against a wall. On which side was it that I had him pinned? Which door? I will say the left door. Okay. So can I see like the arrow slits? Uh, not at this hang. Okay. I mean, you can see it from inside X24 area, but not from X23. OK. So but with the mist, can I see um, the people, anybody coming through it that is hostile? No. OK. Well, I can't. In fact, you're thinking uh, yeah. by the end of this round, the mist will be like kind of pouring into this room, but you think that mm -hmm. this room's spacious enough that the mist is going to dispersiate. Essentially, mm -hmm. the forge room is going to be all mist and fogged up, but that'll be the only room. Okay. All right. So with the thing tunneled underground and me not able to really get a good sight on the guys in the arrow slits, I am going to um, briefly like lax, briefly relax on the door and then smash it backwards with just slam my back into it, just like kind of smash the guy against the wall. All right, roll me another um, athletics. Roll. The strength or athletics? Okay, athletics. Oh, eh, not as good. I got a nat one on my save, so you're fine. I got a three. Okay, how, how much damage oh, is that? Another d six. Three. I might. I might have a chance. Okay. I match it. Ha. So. Okay. That means you uh, don't do any damage. Uh, okay. They're, they're still behind it. Okay. So. If that's the case, I'm just gonna just uh, just snarl angrily, and then I'm going oh, wait to. A hmm? <laughs> they had advantage. I rolled that one again. <laughs> nice. Okay. I am going actually. If I put my hands up against the door, would my side blades pass through it? No. Ah. Fine. Okay, I'm going to. I guess I'll just push off the door and shout to Periwinkle, not Periwinkle, Periwinkle's down. Uh, shout to Liliana as I run past her. Periwinkle, as I run. breathe if you're okay. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. It's, it's even I better would... when Callie freaks out when she's <laughs> muted. It's even funnier. Okay, I'm going to, as I run past Liliana, I got it right this time. I'm going to say, Hulk's the priority, but watch out for the wallflower. And I'm going to skid at a stop in front of the arrow slits, fan out my side blades, and just take two shots at, in the arrow slits. Okay. Uh, right. they, they have three fourths to cover. Here's okay. The arrow slit. All right, fine. That's that's fair. Ah, first one is missing anyways. As a 13. Okay. They'll miss, but the second one is a oh not bad, 25. Uh that actually will hit. Even with the All right. bonus. Yeah. Poor damage though. That's a six. Okay, roll me a d4. All right. And one d4. Ling. Three. OK. Um, that was mostly because you would see now there's four Drugar in there. You were just, mm -hmm. you just shot one at random. One with. OK. Um, All right. And that was how much of my movement to get in front of them? Uh, let's see how I have here. That'll probably be 15. OK. Then I'll use, actually, you know what? I'm going to use the rest of my movement to go back and just back up against the door to keep that one guy one guy pinned. Like I gave him a moment of respite to think he had hope, and now I've switched him back against the door again. Okay. And that's my turn. Right. I'm being petty. This is fun. Uh, I don't get many more opportunities to be petty, so take the ones we can get. Exactly. Okay. 
Uh, River, it is then your turn. I think you are we're heading towards the door. So you're yes. deep in the mist right now. But you, you're pretty sure you're fairly close to the door. You're probably like 15 feet away. All right. Uh, I'll call out. Uh, where's Perry at? Nick. Here? I'll go here. Because like, I cannot, I, I can bring it where I am. You move towards Vogue's place? Yes. Oh, hey, look here. There's Vogue right there. What, she's down again? I'll present Berwinkle. Yeah. Uh, arms. Or... <laughs> Since we're American here, do, uh, who's your insurance provider? Yeah, I'll, I'll have my, my I'll have my like blonde mane Simper on the weave and my armor open. You are out of network, so um, <laughs> copay. El 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 Minster Care. I think big healthcare name. Elminster Medical Treatment, EMT. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm beside Vogue. Can I see in that door as well? Uh, yeah, you look in there and you don't see any enemies. You just see a grease spell and you see what appears to be like a bunch of tunnels in the back walls and a tunnel just in the middle of the floor. All right. I will hold... Uh, a cantrip as an action if anything pops up within my field of view to my towards my next turn okay. and use bonus action healing word second level to bring Perry back with 12 HP again. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's not over. Get back in there. Perry, you wake up from the worst version of whiplash like you fell asleep while on a plane trip. To another side of the country. That's what it feels like. Like you're in a different time zone and everything. That's how jarring this is. This is the second time you've been brought back from the dead in 30 Jet seconds. Lag. Yeah. Two more times and you get a free you get a free coffee. Uh, actually, uh would it use be an action to give Vogue something? Yes. Interacting with an object is uh, then I will forgo my holding and give Vogue a vial of black liquid as I tell him to put it on his axe. I thought you said something else for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, now's probably not the time for that. All right, that's what you think. He's got a last chance. He's got a sword, though. Oh, he's got yeah, a sword? Like, yeah. It's a right, silver sword. Weapon, but... but it's, it's, it's way really funnier. Ass. Vogue it's really funny if you sword. say, like, put this, like, black goo on your axe. <laughs> Remember that grill we fought? What? The flying brain with the, the bird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's its venom. I thought you were talking about a barbecue now. I was super confused. <laughs> You remember that grilling grilling outing we did? And just it was like what? Vogue's just a like American suburban dad it's the <laughs> chef apron. And uh, are we talking American barbecue or European barbecue or just like hot dogs on a grill? I mean it's on which one's the European one? The the hot dogs on the grill. Americans we got we got the smoker in here, we got the pig butt and everything, making pulled pork. Why are we salad. With a lot of meat and the barbecues. Anyway. Hot dogs are American. We're not a skinny nation. Anyway, with that, the it, now his blade is now poisoned with the uh, grill venom. I'll say it's a bonus action. Fine. Um, and that's your turn, right? Yep. All right. After you, it is Andrew's turn. Andrew's not going to use that interrupted back hole. Um, instead, he's going to do a... Uh, he's going to fly up towards him. 
and he gets real close up in the tower, and he goes, and as he does that, it's a loud snap, boom, and then he con saves from all of those guys as he casts Thunderclap. Okay. Oh, wait. What? Of course. Okay. Of course, one of them made it, so they don't save or suck. However, the other two take a lot of damage. Okay, maybe not a lot of damage. I got two ones on my 46. Uh, however, still better, a lot better than what they did with their first level spell that they can cast at will. So, then, at that point, I think once again, because this combat is lasting a very, very long time, we're going to have to make this a part three. We're getting some Dragon Ball Z fights going we're on getting, here. We're getting 3.5 D&D level shit going on. Like, this is how long 3.5 oh combats go. So We just keep running into encounter after encounter and without meeting oh, Yeah. Oh, it's man. a domino effect. Okay, slight side tangent. From my very first campaign that I ran on this channel, back in 2017, Adventures in Tranquil Sea, um, I ran the module at the back of Xanathar's Lost Guide to Everything Else. And this is spoilers for it, for anyone that cares. Um, there's a part where you go to one of the Merchant King's mansions, and literally every room has like a combat encounter in it, right? So, there's like second level. When you're doing that, um, they go in and they run into something that's like too much for them to handle because they split the party. And it was like one person by themselves, and they're like, "Shit, I gotta deal with a druid that can turn themselves into a giant alligator. I don't stand a chance." Um, and they go to run away, and they run through all of these doors in this indoor mansion, and they aggro like five different encounters. So it just turned into this giant chaotic goose chase where like the entire place is going room to room trying to figure out what the heck's going on. They MMO'd themselves. Yes. This is they like, Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. They Leroy Jenkins. Classic. Did they even classic have wow when the tank doesn't know the round? I think we actually I mean, made a Leroy Jenkins joke. So it's not like we were went into a death house with level two and one of us got you know in kept by a wall of rabid rats. Okay, to be fair, you guys were actually very cautious. And, I mean, and I also, I'm going to just point this out. Death and, House and is called sucks. Death House for a reason. Yeah, Death and House. I should have had, should have been able to use my reaction ability. Yes. But whatever. Yes, you should have. Uh, uh, in any case, we'll end it there for the night. Um, and we'll okay, see the... where, where part three of this epic battle against the Sunblight Fortress will go. Um, and I think we'll, we'll see what's going on with everybody. Um, Mav, since it sounded like you were wanting to say something, you want to have Oh, I was thoughts? just going to ask you. Uh, no thoughts, only air, but I was just going to ask, uh, since I used my action to coat his sword, does mean he doesn't have to no. use his bonus action to? You, you use the action to hand him the, the coating. Okay, do you use your action to coat it, or do you use your action to give it? I'll pour it on his sword. Okay. That way he's free. Okay. Make sure to write that down, because I will definitely do that. Um, actually, you know what? Why am I telling you that? Write it down now. Um, in any case... Uh, so don't you have like an XML spreadsheet of everything going on right now? Nope, just a, like a Word document. Hmm. Okay, so uh, any other closing thoughts? Anybody? Um, uh, no closing thoughts, but if we're doing, doing round table thing, yeah, yeah. um, can we go first? Whoever wants to go first. Um, I guess I spoke up, I guess I'll go. Hey everybody. Um, January underscore silence pretty much everywhere. I have currently four play, uh, player care, uh, player options up on DM, uh, DMs guild right now. The most recent one made fairly with Strixhaven in mind. 
for bards, if you want to play a silver quill person who focuses more on black mana magic and insults than the white mana inspiration stuff, it's really fun. It's like if a battle master fighter and a bard had a baby. What did you say, Yus? Yus, you read it. Okay, never mind. Sorry. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Also, check out my friend at Burger Mama um, uh, on Twitter, spelled B U R R G E R. She's really good. She did the cover art work. It's this really awesome, um, like Kimbo the White Lion style uh, Leonin and just the classic Silver Quill dapperness for Strixhaven. But definitely check it out. We're, we're doing some fun stuff. Hopefully we can have some more projects up this year. I know that I have way too many homebrew ideas that need to be released into the world. I'll hopefully be trying to start up a Patreon or coffee at some point. I will get that done this year. I'm telling myself that. But aside from that, also check out myself, Yuis, and Sage over on Backed Channel 1, B-A-C-T Channel 1 on YouTube, where... We are playing through uh, Maychan Press's Dark Matter setting. We just got sent back in time and nearly nearly caused the disruption to the time stream as immediately after we got out of the portal. It's fun. Great, Scott. Mm -hmm, indeed. Uh, we'll, we'll go through the lightning round real quick. Uh, next, Scott, any plugs? Um, come check out my channel at Fracture Moon D and D. Um, we have a bunch of awesome games, including um, Callie's Unwritten and Aya's Saffron Academy. That'll be next week. Oh yeah, my <laughs> meme of us bullying Callie ruthlessly. <coughs> um, Wait, this week, hold, hold that up like as still as you can on the camera. <coughs> Spex and I know what that is, but everyone else can't really. So Callie, you're, you're not showing uh, the top part. There we go. It, it says, unwritten crew getting a gun for Winnie. Callie just wanted to tell her fantasy story. Because uh, we are absolutely and ruthlessly bullying Callie to get her DM NPC character a gun. So she can shoot the evil queen. It's a solid plan. And she's already shot herself in the foot, pun intended, by saying, oh, it's from this era. Which I immediately went, oh, perfect. Guns existed in quite a bit, a bit, a bit of technology at that point. <laughs> he said i said if you guys figure out a way <laughs> i'm a pirate it. baby I, I think that's actually a good uh turn around to callie what do you got going on mm -hmm. well vex wasn't done doing her plug were you keep going callie and i'll finish after you because we we segue on to you perfectly i'm sorry uh, hi, if you want to see me uh, make a fantasy story or try to uh, without guns uh, for like the next episode until they give my uh, DMPC a gun, okay, uh, watch well. Unwritten. It's <laughs> watch Unwritten. It happens every uh, Tuesday, eight o'clock at um, on Vex's channel, Fracture Moon D&D. &D. If you would like to see me suffer more, uh, Baltimore by Night is a really <laughs> good one for that. Uh, and uh, what, uh, my character got her heart ripped out one time and um, she just broke up with her polycule and uh, a, another vampire called uh, her a pawn in someone else's game. So, you know, if, if you want to see me suffer more, that is, happens on the Crow and Chimera channel. They post it every other Monday uh, at around one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, but if you want to see me have fun, Fridays are Retroverse and they're coming back soon, right, Scotty? <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Might be a little bit more, but yeah. Mm, okay. I will uh, say... But I will say I've started watching uh, Baltimore by Night, and you guys are wonderful. I'm only one episode in. I love all of you. 
it's uh it gets very insane very fast and uh towards the end we we've, we've picked up reese we lost bob we picked up reese and it just went to the shitter it's, it's like okay here what is now <laughs> not so, like it's bad it's just like everybody is just going through a lot of shit right now. <laughs> right it's still very fun yeah. i'm enjoying what i've seen i've seen so far um yeah, and um, sorry, Vex, for cutting you off. You got anything else? No, it was it was a good one. But yeah, and then on this weekend, uh, Sunday, um, come check my channel out. Um, we have two games, hopefully, knock on wood. I don't really know yet. Um, so come check those out, a Lancer and a Masks game. Starts at 1230 for the first one and uh, for uh, Masks and 3 o'clock for this, the um, second one. Actually, I don't think we will be running because I think Hera's working. Either way, come check those out when we do run. It's at Fraction Moon D and D. It's a blast. Everyone on that channel is great. Last but not least, we got Us. Yeah, going on. Uh, a lot of art. Uh, I, I'm on all over social media. Follow me on TikTok because we're, we're almost a hundred forty thousand uh, people that, for some reason, look at the stuff I do. It's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But TikTok pays me, so hell yeah. That's Hell nice. Yeah. So follow me there, because TikTok doesn't give me shit. I like Twitter doesn't give me shit. <laughs> yeah, and you got a lot of Pokemon art. Recently. Yeah, I do. That, that that does very well on TikTok. And, and um, Nintendo doesn't pay you, so they should. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, event eventually, if I keep if I keep doing these numbers, maybe they will be like, okay, we we'll do something. Like I don't know, a Cubone. Uh, I, I, I will settle for that. Um, throw, throw throw you as a Cubone. Yeah, give me yeah. give me Cubone merch. Uh, game freak i will settle for that um so yeah that's that's me <laughs> all right and on that note um we aren't we aren't fully back um because i'm still getting used to moving out of state um but we should be good for next wednesday um so thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you next time bye hi everybody hey good night